morning traders. Welcome to the week ahead preview from your friends at Privateer FX. As we approach the, uh, the Christmas holiday, we do have some data coming up here uh, in, the, in the week ahead. Um, a little bit lighter than last week, not as many central bank meetings. We do, most notably, we do have the Bank of Japan interest rate decision. Um, we have some GDP revisions out of New Zealand, the US, the UK, Canada, uh, CPI out of the Eurozone in Canada, and we also have the uh, we also have the PC uh, data out of the US uh, later in the week. So, you know, a few a few hot spots, but uh, you know, nothing crazy. And the market's definitely winding down. Uh, there were some positive dollar flows on Friday. We had uh, higher yields in the US and higher equity prices. Here's a dollar yen chart popping on this chart. It's, it held this 112 to figure pretty nicely. Had a little reversal higher day on Friday. But if we pop over to the weekly, doesn't look as great. We made a new high this w last week and then ended up closing right around this 112.50 area. But uh, things were looking a little precarious when we approached this 112 to figure and uh, and ended up holding, held this 100-week moving average on the closing basis. Uh, back to the daily, you know, we're, we're not really close at all to the 100-day and 200-day moving averages. So a couple of the bank analysts have come out saying uh, buy a basket of uh, dollars for the next couple of weeks into year end, expecting higher rates. We should be getting the, uh, as early as Tuesday, we could be getting the, New tax bill could be passed out of the U.S. Um, so I think on the back of that, we some of the analysts are recommending long dollars versus a basket of short British pound, short the Japanese yen, short Norwegian krone. Um, if we look at the euro dollar daily chart, you can see that that was under a little bit of pressure the last couple of days. Thursday had a, had a decent down day, and then we closed right in the lows. On, uh, on Friday's close and keeping an eye on these old lows here 11715 to 20 um, that looks kind of breaky to us and if we can take those lows out into your end we could see this 115 handle again so pay attention to the euro um, Aussie and Kiwi were the strongest majors on uh, Friday well, Aussie gave up its gain. It, it started to open the day higher, went right back, tested this 200-day moving average. And you can see reverse lower, but uh, it had a strong open during uh, Asia and Europe. And uh, take a look at a weekly uh, Australian dollar. You can see it You know, it did have a strong week, and this level here is massive now, the 75 cents. Really, really big. So that's still one, one on the radar for us. Pop over the Kiwi, big up week in Kiwi dollar. Uh, the daily, kind of an ugly looking inverted hammer, but did close positive on uh, on Friday. Um, we still like selling rallies in Aussie and Kiwi, but you know Kiwi could easily get back up here, you know, another hundred points or so. Um, everyone's favorite Bitcoin. Let's see what the Bitcoin chart looks like here. On the daily, uh, this should be, this is actually uh, today, Not, nothing really going on. We did, had a strong up day on Friday, took out this old high, barely, and now we're kind of trading right around this 19,700, and this is off of Coinbase. Ethereum, which was up about 45% last week, you know, after these two huge up, up days here, um, still looking pretty strong. Litecoin's up about six six and a half percent the past twenty four hours, but off its highs of four nineteen down at three twenty seven. Uh, this low looks important for Litecoin. Take a look at Ether. Down here six oh six on the downside and up at uh, seven eighty five to the top side. So, you know, other than that, it's a pretty quiet uh, open here pre pre Asia. 
before Tokyo uh, gets things moving. Uh, we have Japan trade balance coming out. And then in Europe, we've got uh, some CPI, European CPI number, final numbers. Uh, nothing really in North America at all. So we're expecting a very quiet Monday. And again, the, you know, the holidays are approaching and uh, volumes tend to uh, decrease significantly. Um, volatility generally pretty subdued. But that does mean that if there's some headlines, it could be on the tax, um, something happening with the tax bill expected this Tuesday. Uh, you know, things could move a little bit faster, a little bit further than normal, just given the liquidity conditions that uh, that we're in this time of the year. Anyhow, I'll leave it to that, and good luck, and look out for us on the uh, European and the New York Open.